What's up, everybody? This is LB The Realist with Surrealistic Studios, Surreal News, where the real is surreal. So, last I checked, Bernie Sanders was catching up to Joe Biden in the polling in regards to uh, South Carolina polls, right? Uh, I believe one poll stated that Joe Biden was at 28%, had Bernie Sanders at about 23%, so about 5% within the margin of error, right? So it could, it could either go... It could go either way. I mean, it, it, Joe Biden might win because he's technically up in the polls, but then Bernie Sanders might have won because he's closing the gap quickly and he's within the margin of error. Well, this poll was, what, like a week ago or a few days ago or something like that? This was before, I believe, the South Carolina debate. New polling has come out, multiple polls, I might add, that shows Joe Biden at 30, 30 plus 40 percent. And it shows Bernie Sanders, I shit you not, at like 11 percent. Excuse me. Bernie Sanders has 11 percent to Joe Biden's 40 percent. Unbelievable. In just a few days, we went from Bernie Sanders closing the gap on the, uh, on Joe Biden's lead within the margin of error to him being blown out the water by Joe Biden in recent polls coming out. So you know all the Biden supporters on Twitter are feeling themselves right now. They're like, oh yeah, Biden's going to win. Biden's going to win. He's so ahead of Bernie. His support is so much more than Bernie. And I'm sorry, I just got to call bullshit. I really have to call bullshit. There's nothing about... There's nothing about that debate in South Carolina. Other than the fact that the audience was booing Bernie because they were obviously paid off elites that could afford $2,000 to $3,000 for a ticket just to be at the debates. But there was nothing about that debate that proved that Bernie Sanders wouldn't be a formidable opponent against Donald Trump in the general. Joe Biden didn't do that particularly well in the debate for him to be skyrocketing in the polling the way he has. Makes absolutely no sense. Matter of fact, I reported in my last video that a poll done by ABC claimed that viewers who watched the debate actually walked away from it thinking that Bernie Sanders proved his case. They actually walked away from the debate supporting Bernie Sanders that much more. And they felt as though he did a good job. This was according to ABC's own internal polling. So we go from that to Biden skyrocketing in the polls to 40% in South Carolina. Now, uh, what's his name? Mr. Clyburn, a South Carolina, um, a South Carolina politician. I believe I believe his name is Jim Clyburn. He actually came out and endorsed Joe Biden. So that may or may not have something to do with that. I seriously doubt it. Black people are not a monolith. All right, they're saying that Biden has a lot of older black support. Um, okay, 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 <laughs> we're going to see how this goes, folks. Now, I made a prediction that Bernie Sanders would actually win South Carolina. I don't know. I'm making, I'm, I'm throwing it up there. I'm making predictions here. Um, honestly, it's not looking too good for Bernie Sanders at this moment. It was looking pretty good for him, especially since he's riding the momentum off Iowa, New Hampshire, then winning Nevada, coming into South Carolina. He's closing the gap within 5% margin of error in Joe Biden, with Joe Biden in uh, South Carolina. But now it shows Biden skyrocketing in polls and Bernie Sanders plummeting to 11%. So again, I don't know how much of this is real. <laughs> I, just, I don't know how much of this polling is accurate. 
I mean, I know we all like to say, oh, you know, look at this poll. Bernie Sanders beating this poll, and he's beating everybody in this poll. And then we, we love polls then. But as soon as the polls show Bernie slipping, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> man, fuck these polls. Hold up. <laughs> I don't know about these polls, man. I don't know about these polls. Take it with a grand of two or three or four or five or six is all. <laughs> you know? So this is one of those moments that I'm having where I'm like, ah, I can't really trust these polls. <laughs> as soon as Bernie Sanders shoots up in the polls, I'm going to be the first one like, yep. See the pose? You see the pose? Bernie's up in the pose. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. I just. Uh, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> um, I just thought that, that was pretty funny. You got to laugh at these moments because it's like Biden being at 40 percent in South Carolina is unbelievable to me. Now, it can go one of a few ways. It, he can either blow Bernie out the water in South Carolina and this is the first time we're gonna actually see Bernie Sanders in a third fourth or fifth place or he could blow Joe Biden out the water and all of the polling that we have seen will be have it will be proven to have been false or unreliable at least or or the third option which is that Bernie Sanders actually comes close. He does very well, just like him and his campaign are saying he's going to do. And he comes close to Joe Biden. Joe Biden still wins South Carolina, but he comes dangerously close, in which case he may still win a good amount of delegates. So the way I'm looking at this, the way I'm viewing this situation, there's three different options here. I made a prediction. I said Bernie Sanders would win South Carolina. And I, I said it already, so I'm going to stick by it. I'm going to stick by it, all right? Bernie Sanders is going to win South Carolina. I saw one tweet from a person that was on the ground in South Carolina um, campaigning for Bernie Sanders. He said he's knocking on doors, he's making calls, and from what he's seen, there is a lot of support for Bernie Sanders in South Carolina. So he doesn't know about the... He's questioning the polls as well, which I'm sure a lot of you are. Um... So again, we're, we're going to see how this goes. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Joe Biden has that much support in the damn world. But okay, okay. This is what the polls saying. Joe Biden is up in the polls in South Carolina. Bernie Sanders trailing far behind. Again, Bernie Sanders just won pretty much the first three contests. Um, popular vote for Iowa. Then he won the New Hampshire primary, then Nevada caucus. So he's he's definitely the front runner. Every everybody says that Bernie Sanders is the front runner now. So he's riding the wave of being the front runner, a front runner status. He's riding the wave of uh, the media talking about him every day. He's been in South Carolina and in a, in a lot of these states since 2015, 2016. So his ground game is there. South Carolina is going to be the real test. So again, come on, South Carolinians. Let's show this establishment where you at now. Black people are not a monolith. All right? You do not... You're, look. You do not owe the Democrats nothing. Okay? You don't owe Joe Biden anything. If you live in South Carolina now, you're an older voter or a younger voter, whatever. Wherever you may live. You don't owe the Democratic Party anything. Okay? They have to earn your vote. Now... That goes for everybody. So hopefully, Bernie Sanders has earned your vote. And if not, well, then that's on him. But don't make your decision solely based off the premise that Bernie Sanders is not electable. Because he's breaking records. He's... He's made world history already by winning the first three popular votes in the in the first three contests. No one, no presidential candidate has ever done that, Republican or Democrat. He's already making history. And and like he said in the last debate, 47 out of 50 polls show that he beats Donald Trump. He beats Donald Trump by a wider a wider margin than any other Democratic candidate. Donald Trump has said himself that he doesn't think Bernie Sanders will be easy to defeat in the general. He does not want to go. I think part of him actually does want to go against Bernie Sanders for the whole spectacle of it. Honestly. 
But I don't think that he thinks that it's going to be an easy win for him. And he said this privately before that he, that he that socialism or socialism it's not going to be easy to beat. For uh, student loan forgiveness, excuse me, it's not going to be easy to beat. Medicare for all is not going to be easy to beat. They like they scream all day. Well, how do you pay for it? How do you pay for it? How do you pay for it? We never ask these questions when it comes to tax breaks, tax cuts, nonstop war. We never seem to ask these questions, but when it comes to what we want as a people, then those questions arise. But let me tell you something. A lot of people that voted for Donald Trump started off supporting Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is the reason for the season. Bernie Sanders had a movement before Donald Trump's movement. He is the reason for this barbecue shit. So think about that. South Carolinians, think about that. Think about who's going to be the better choice as far as improving your lives. It's not going to be centrism. It's not going to be the establishment. It's going to be a true grassroots candidate that's for, by, and from the people. The people's choice. Bernie Sanders. Come on, South Carolina. Come on and raise up. Until next time, love, peace, and light. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out.